Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. As we enter year 3 of Destiny 2, the way that we level up our characters is changing quite a bit from previous years. And whether you're a brand new player to the Destiny franchise, or a returning or even veteran player that hasn't stopped playing the entire lifespan of Destiny 2, this season the powerful reward system could be a little confusing. So hopefully this video will clear it up and you will know exactly which activities you need to go farm to get past the certain barriers in the game. So let's talk about these barriers that you will have to get by to level all the way up to max level in this season. So first of all, every single piece of gear in the game, every player, regardless if you just started a character or if you have been leveling a character for years and years, you are all starting at what is known as the floor, which is 750 power. To get from 750 power up to 900 power, which is the soft cap, you can do virtually anything in the game. Pretty much every drop in the game should give you a small boost to your power level all the way until you hit 900 power at the soft cap. Shadowkeep will also be introducing a brand new leveling mechanic known as Seasonal Artifacts. These artifacts will contribute to your overall power level, increasing each time you level up with XP, and each time that you level up it will increase your overall power level. Now, these artifacts, the way that they work, is it will increase your power level, but it will not influence the power level of the gear, i.e. your weapons and armor, that drop from any source. So to give you an example of how this works, let's say that with your artifact, your overall character power level is 950, but your gear only maxes your power level at 920. This is your weapons and armor. Basically what this means is if you get a powerful reward source from any source in the game, it's going to be at 920 because again, your artifact does not influence the power level of the gear that drops. Now, that is kind of a bummer if I'm being honest, but it is also understandable since your artifact is shareable across every one of your characters. So that means if you play on your hunter and you level your artifact up 20 ranks, then switch over to your Titan, your Titan automatically gets a free plus 20 power level because it shares the same artifact as your Hunter. So now that we have the basic understanding of how you level up from 750 to the soft cap of 900, let's talk about which specific activities you should be doing to level up. So one thing that you want to keep in mind is because you are going towards the soft cap, as I said, virtually every drop in the game is going to help you get up to 900. So you want to avoid doing activities that say that they grant powerful rewards or pinnacle rewards or anything like that because you, you just simply don't need them and you want to save them for later when you do need them. So as it stands right now, what Bungie has said is everything from year two, this is forsaken activities. So things like the Last Wish Raid, like you're watching right now, Scourge of the Past, Crown of Sorrow, as well as Shattered Throne, any Dreaming City activities, you get the idea. Anything that launched in year two that previously gave you a powerful reward is no longer considered a powerful reward. Meaning it's just gonna drop at whatever power level you happen to be at. It's gonna scale down and not increase your power level. However, because you are going towards the soft cap, if you do those activities before you hit 900, then it will be a quote unquote powerful reward for you in a sense. Because remember, from 750 to 900, every activity is going to give you a boost to get up to the soft cap. So this is the time that you want to go do, you know, the Dreaming City stuff, or you go do the Shattered Throne, you want, you go do the Last Wish Raid, you go do Crown of Sorrow, you go do the Eight of Bounties, you go do all that stuff, Menagerie, get all those powerful rewards, quote unquote, from year two, that are no longer powerful, because now they're just regular drops, but they will help you get to the soft cap. So just to reiterate, all you want to do from 750 to 900 is get as many drops as possible. So doing all that year two content is going to be great because there are a ton of drop sources in year two. So that's a way to make the year two content still viable, still farmable, still give you a reason to go do it. So that's what I'll be doing. So moving on to our next cap, you've hit 900, you're at the soft cap. How do you go from 900 to 950? From here, you actually need those powerful drops and pinnacle drops. Pinnacle drops are things like in-game content, raids, Iron Banner, things like that. Powerful drops are whatever you hover over in your director that say powerful reward. 
Now this is why I said before you hit 900, you want to leave all your powerful sources intact. You don't want to do them until you get to 900 because once you hit 900, you need those powerful sources. Your artifact will still be helping you level up, but it will not influence the power level of the weapons and armor that you are getting. So again, if your overall power level is 950 with the artifact, but your gear is dropping at 920, it's going to continue dropping at 920 and not 950 because your artifact does not influence those drops. Now, another thing to keep in mind is once you hit power level 900, then you will start getting prime engrams to drop out in the wild. These are essentially powerful legendary engrams that give you a random piece of gear, but its main purpose is to use for infusion and they have changed it up a little bit. You will get more of them than in previous seasons, but they will give you less of a power increase to compensate for the increased drop rates. So just to reiterate, from 900 to 950 power for your gear, you will only get meaningful rewards from things that say it gives you a powerful reward, a pinnacle reward, or a prime engram. Your artifact will continue to increase your power level exponentially, but it will not influence the power level of the weapons and armor that drops for you. So moving on to our final power cap, which is the pinnacle cap of 960 power. You are in the end game now. To get from 950 power to the pinnacle cap of 960 power, your only sources in the game are in-game content. This is raids, Iron Banner, uh, challenging nightfalls, dungeons, things like that. That's the only way to get gear to drop up to 960. 960 power is the absolute highest power level that your weapons and armor will be in this season. Your artifact will continue to level up well beyond this point. Again, your artifact has no power cap, but like I said many times in this video, your artifact will not influence the power level of weapons and armor. So no matter what your artifact gets up to, you can be power level 1200 with your artifact, your gear will absolutely not go past 960 power. And that's pretty much it, guys. I know that this system can sound a little confusing. Hopefully this video clears up some of that confusion. If you're still confused, drop a comment in the box below and ask your question and either myself or somebody else that sees it will hopefully get an answer for you. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying Shadowkeep. I hope it's as fun as it seems like it's going to be. I'm really excited about it. But that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.